Last week I said, don't encrypt your passwords, hash them and add a bit of salt. And this was really good because I started to get a lot of feedback. A lot of people said, oh, that was really cool the way you explained it. <laughs> of course it was, I explained it. A lot of people suggested alternative techniques such as uh, quantum cryptography and zero knowledge encryption and this is all great stuff. One of the most common comments I got was what happens when a user forgets their password because it's hashed and sorted you can't send them their password and that's the whole point of it you're not meant to send the user their password um, so what do you do when a user forgets their password normally I prefer an approach a bit like this <laughs> Okay, now if your company policy prohibits something like that, which I, I, I have no idea why they would not want to go with it, but you know how HR are, sometimes people resort to their asking secret questions, secret questions as such, to uh, answer things. So they'll say, oh, you've forgotten your password, what's your email address? You put in your email address and they say, okay, what's your hair colour? And then you sit around thinking, hmm, that's really secret, isn't it? Or mother's maiden name or day of birth. And this is all things that anyone who's your friend on Facebook or not even your friend on Facebook uh, can uh, find out. So, so there's not really a lot of value in that. Gaining access back to an account which you've forgotten a password, there, there are lots of different ways you can do this. And I don't know why I end up talking about passwords every time because there are so many different ways and schools of thoughts, it it's, uh, raises a lot of controversy a lot of times. But this is the last time I'm gonna be talking about passwords. So if I ever make another video about passwords, you know, feel free to buy me a lemon cake. That's my weakness. Lemon cakes, yeah, I, I, they're, they're like torture to me or Krispy Kreme donuts. One way you could do this is get a user to enter their email address and say I've forgotten my password and then email them a tokenized URL. Now don't display anything on the screen saying that this is valid or not valid even if it's a wrong password because you don't want someone going through and harvesting and finding out what are legitimate emails and user IDs. So always send a response even if the response is like you're wrong. <laughs> and then set it so that it expires within a set period of time, one hour to three hours or something like that, and make it so that it's only one time only. So when a user clicks on it, you go to it and you just reset your password using the, the standard reset function that's built into your application, which should be secure as opposed to a new function, and then allow the user to change the password that way and then log in using the new password. And once they've done this, email them a confirmation saying you asked for a password reset and here you've successfully changed your password and if it was not you that requested this password reset then call up the help desk and we'll uh, go medieval on somebody well no they won't they'll probably just suspend the account and uh, uh, let, let you reset it again but just to end up and uh, like i said this is probably going to hopefully the last time i'm going to be talking about passwords because i get shot down a lot every time i talk about passwords and Security is more than just passwords, but it's a big element from a user perspective, is uh, passwords are dead. Yeah, you shouldn't be talking about passwords anyway. Uh, Two-factor authentication is the way to go. Now, that's an interesting theory because passwords really aren't dead. And they're not going to be dead. Why? Because from a security perspective, yes, we, we might say, yeah, they're weak, uh, users are prone to forgetting them, there's issues around the safe, secure storage, the transmission, and blah de blah de blah Passwords are very weak, they're a relic, they're a thing of the past, they're the mummies, they're the goons, they're like the dodo, they gain the way of the dinosaur, and we can say all of that, and security, I think no one who's really keen about security will disagree with it. However, Passwords are used to secure applications that are run by a business. And these are generally a business decision. Businesses aren't interested in making their apps 100% secure. They just want to make it secure enough and convenient enough so that their customers can log in and conduct their business and generate their money. If they started implementing 2FA or biometrics and everything into everything, okay, they might be more secure, but they're probably going to alienate a lot of customers to start off with. Okay, you could argue, okay, there'll be a learning curve and eventually everyone will come too. But the, the other big thing is that it costs a lot of money. 
Passwords are really cheap to maintain. You can have a web app and a database and something built into it that handles your password securely or insecurely, but it's very quick and simple and you can get it up and running. You implement 2FA, uh, even if it's not a, a token, you, you either have to buy a token, configure it, send it out to the user, make sure the user doesn't lose it, manage it like that, or you even if it's like a, a soft token so that it's a software they install on their uh, mobile phone or something, it's still a, another layer of uh, cost and licensing and administration and if that if you, if you run a website that that you know use a lot of users sign up to and then never bother coming back to, uh, that's a lot of tokens you've issued and set up that no one's ever going to use again. So until there's a strong business case, uh, businesses aren't going to move away from there. And that's how they're going to stay secure, my friends.